That is a solid jobs report, at least in terms of uh, for risk assets. The way you described it before, I mean, it's, it's impressive. Put 800,000 people in the labor force is an unbelievable number at this point in the cycle. Given yeah. How many have been hired? But like you said, the, the reason why for risk assets is a good number is you're still not getting the wage acceleration. The Fed's not going to be in any rush around this number. I mean, you're you're uh, you know you're still accelerating. They're still going to keep moving. But it's pretty impressive that we can get higher that many people and wage growth is is moving higher but it's not that scary in terms of how much it's moving Bob Dole. Uh, hard to argue with any of that. It's a near-perfect report. I wish we could get some more productivity. I think we will with CapEx picking up and then it will allow wage growth to pick up some and this cycle can keep going. Robert Sipp. Yeah, it's a great number and even as a bond guy, I mean, when you look at this the last six months, you know, what I see is the employment all those jobs that are measured on the household survey, there are as many people coming into the workforce, right? So you're not getting a strong rise in participation rate, your employment to population ratio relatively stable, which means you have a long way to run. Fed can be, you know, slow moving on this, and uh, so it should be good for rates, and rates are not low at this point. Rates are at the, probably the top end of the range, so good number at a good time.